Hello. <laughs> yeah, guess who it is? It's me, Mike D57S. Yeah, I just wanted to get to a re-review of my Bachman engine, mostly because you know, for the hell of it. Yeah, I'm really bored right now. <laughs> All right, so let's just get on with it. And of course, yes, it is Toby the Tram Engine. I can never get tired of saying the full names of the main characters and stuff. Yeah, but I know there are other full names, but oh well. Let's just get on with this. Okay, um, here's Toby, and um, now, of course, my character opinion. Yeah, I almost forgot. Um, I do love Toby. I mean, the one review I made, it's not as good as I remember it now. Yes, and I remember I dedicated it to Christopher Audrey only because Toby is his favorite engine. I can, yeah, and, but now I'm starting, but now this time it isn't, well, I mean, I do love the character Toby because, you know, of his, you know, personality, obviously, because he's the wise old sage, you know, like Edward, except, you know, now he works on Thomas's branch line, <laughs> and of course, he, Thomas, and Percy are the, are, you know, the famous three trio, well, my other favorite trio in the show, of course, is Thomas, Percy, and uh, James. <laughs> and, yes, even Gordon, James, and Henry. Well, yeah, and... I even love, of course, you know, the more we can learn that. You may be old, but, you know, you're still useful, you know, like Toby, and that you can learn a lot from the old and stuff, because he is a mentor, well, was a mentor to Dave, Daisy and Mavis. Yeah. And, of course, I even love, you know, that sing-along song, you know, the Toby song from Season 4. It was one of my childhood favorites back then, and it still holds up because it makes me think about this beloved character. I mean, I really do love the character Toby. I mean, I know I stated before that he is also my favorite character along with Thomas and Percy. Well, he's still one of my favorites, but not, like, as high as Thomas and Percy, no, but... He's still very special, like every character that I picked as my favorite. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of... And I'm talking about the classic characters, and only a few CGI characters that I personally like. Well, enough of that. Let's just get the mod. I mean, let's just get to the model. Alright. Now, let's just get to the negatives first. The negatives, obviously, are since the fact Toby is one of, you know the developing models at the time, his hook along, I mean, is also gray, and along with Thomas, Percy, James, Gordon, and Henry. Yeah, like, his hook is gray, and he was made a year after Gordon and Henry in 2006, and really, what was going through Bachman's heads when the, I, here's what I say, sorry if I'm talking gibberish, all right, what was going through Bachman's heads at the time, really? Why did they, you know, decide, you know, just to, you know, fix this problem with Edward? I mean, oh well, okay, and another negative I got is, you know, that, don't get me wrong, the cow catchers, they're nice, believe me, I love the way they're molded on. We'll get to them later. The only problem with them, though, is that there's a long, gaping I mean, a large gaping hole in them. I can understand what Bachman was going through, but he could have at least made it a little thinner, like, uh, uh, just like where my fingertips are reaching. Yeah. And, but I will say, though, that this model is better than the Hornby one, in my opinion. In, you know, terms of size and looks. <laughs> Alright, and... That wasn't the only negative, not just the gaping hook. I mean, gaping hook, I don't mind it, but I just wish they made it a little thinner. And something else is right in this area where his bell is. Like, the only problem is, of course, these two, like, you know, the holder, you know, where his bell is, it's not painted black, and it's painted, you know, brass along with the rest of his paintwork. Like, some other models I just mentioned, and something else that's annoying, I don't know why these two molds on his roof are molded right next to his bell. And, 
yeah, that's just, you know, kind of annoying that... No, it actually, it does spoil the image. Like, I mean, these molds on his roof shouldn't even be next to there. Alright, so those are pretty much the only negatives I seem to have with the looks. Now let's just get to all the good things. Because trust me, it's... I mean, his looks are definitely spectacular. Like, I love the way the count catchers are mended, just like I mentioned earlier. Like, you know, these little bits and stuff. And I even love the way, you know, his side plates are. And he especially you got these, you know, three black lines, which of course are the steps to get into his cab. And is it me, or I seem to notice that, I know that the cow catchers are gray, but it seems like there's a little bit of a tint of blue in there. Well, maybe not a whole lot of blue, but yeah, dark in like a grayish kind of blue. Yeah. But it's still a plain gray. And you know, I do love Toby T Toby's TV series model now that I thought of it, but the railway series model was colorful. I mean, I actually did kind of like it, you know, where his sides were blue and... But the brown paints, I don't mind. I mean, it's a nice shade of brown. Anyways, well, let's just get to the other parts on him, of course. And now that we're done with talking about his cow catchers and side plates, here's his cab area, and on each force, and of course on all four, I, excuse me, on both sides, um, to each, we even got, you know, these two openings in his front and back, and they got this black area here inside, and I love the way, the, you, know, you know, that the handrails are painted in this nice, brass and again the brass looks nice on these engines and I even like you know how they got the windows and these like tannish brown wood panels and these light and then the rest here light brown I mean the wood panels were molded on nicely and of course yes we even got Toby's famous number seven yeah the number seven looks I mean and it's painted on nicely like just like I mentioned, all the engine's numbers are painted beautifully. Like, and the way they even have his number 7, like, you know, like part of, like, the wood panel. Like, you can see those little indents in there. That is done very well. Yeah, so that's Toby on his sides. And now we'll get to the top before we get to, you know... Oh, but before that, there's something else on the back um, that we'll get to. Um... They even have, you know, that these little notches, you know, for if you're going to put a lamp there. Very good, yeah. Very well done, like, I really like that. Though I don't recall, you know, the last time we see Toby having a lamp on, you know, in the show. Well, aside from that, we'll get to the rest of this later. I don't want to spend too much time on the back. Alright, now, let's just get to, of course, the roof. Now, I know I've said you know, the bad things about the bell, but eh, it's not too bad. I mean, okay, yes, these, you know, the ring, you know, that's holding it should be black, and, you know, why are these molds on the roof? I have no idea. But nonetheless, it's still good. I mean, I like, you know, how they painted the string, you know, that's holding his bell. No, I mean, well, you know, that controls the bell and stuff. And then we even got, you know, this black, you know, dome over here, which, of course, is his funnel. I mean, that's done nicely, and something else is that we even got this black thing, this black lining right next to, you know, this funnel over there, and even right on, which are, of course, are both right on top of, you know, the bell and this view. I know that steam engines would have steam domes to control the steam on top of them so that, you know, it could travel through the pipes, but is this supposed to be like a steam dome or anything? I don't know, I don't even know that much about steam trams or anything. But if it is, please, like, leave me a comment below. I just need to know what this black thing is, like, if it's a steam dome. I said this in my, you know, 2012 review. And I don't know if, you know, this is the case, like, again, like, if this really is a steam dome. Because I can't recall, you know, if there was a comment in, you know, the old videos... Saying that, but oh well, if you can, please leave me a comment and let me know. Alright, now we'll get to the front, and we even got, you know, the great hook again in the same notches. Alright, uh, hold on, excuse me. The buffers are molded on nicely, and 
they don't, and they don't look sprung anyway, you know, just plain old buffers, and the notches, like I said again, if you got these nice cab windows on top over here, nicely done, and I even like, you know, especially for the tail lamp, the only wish the tail lamp would be red, it doesn't matter, I love, you know, the way the lights on, you know, you know, the lighting on Toby was painted yellow just to make it look like if it was lit up, I mean, that's just strange, like, the other engines have lamps, like, well, Thomas, Percy, and James do, and yet it's painted gray, which makes it look like it's off. When on this, it's painted yellow, which just shows it's, well, you know, on. And, yeah, that's, I mean, the yellow light on Toby's lamp, it's very, you know, realistic, and it brings a lot of an imagination. I mean, if it was DCC, then this thing would really light up, like a Christmas tree. Though I really wish the red one... I, no, I mean the back one would be, you know, red just to make it look like a reverse lamp. You know, just like in the show. Again, more nicely done wood panels. And now the face. It's a definitely good face. Like, like it's got everything on him. Like, the eyebrows are nice. And then we got the eyes. And then we even got the rest, like his chin. And this is a very nice smile he's got. And this face is definitely, you know, Toby-esque and stuff like like, it's definitely got Toby's looks right. And we even got the chubby cheeks, yep. And the snubby nose. So, yeah. Toby is almost perfect in looks. Just those few nitpicks I have. Now, I'm going to pause this and get this on the tripod, and I got a train set up for him. Alright, so, stay tuned. Alright, guys, I'm back, and here I have Toby, of course, pulling his lovely coach, Henrietta. Oh, and I know I promised a rolling stock review. Um, don't worry, I, I might plan on this this summer. Well, at least I'm getting ideas of what I could think of reviewing. All right. And I even got, you know, a load of trucks. I got the blue and green wagons, uh, regular trucks. You know what? I don't even need to name them. These are the trucks I have so far in my collection. And, yeah. All right, so here I have, you know, Toby. And just to get a nostalgic feel to the episode he was introduced in, Toby the Tram Engine, or... Toby and the Stout Gentleman, whatever. Alright, here we go. Now, like I mentioned with Percy in the last review, Toby isn't really the strongest or fastest. Well, he's heavy, and he could pull a long load and stuff, maybe, but you gotta really be careful with this model. Because the one nitpick, yes, he's slow, and it's a pain, but then again, Toby isn't very that fast in the show. So yeah, that's an okay now that I think about it, yeah. So it seems like, and this is another reason of why I do these, you know, re-reviews, because opinions have changed. Alright, this is how fast we can go. Let's just, you know, get him one more run, and then I'll stop the review. Stop him now. Stop him right over here. Crossing. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so that's Toby for you. Um. Yeah, so that's the Bachman Toby, and I will be giving him a 9.5, well, you know, a 9.5 out of 10, yeah. Alright. Um, that's. You know, pretty much it. Yeah, so 9.5 out of 10 for the Bachman Toby, and this is Mike D57S signing off, and we'll stay tuned for some Scottish twins. Yeah, I would do Duck because, you know, he's number 8, but I've already reviewed him, you know, in a good quality now, so no need to do that. Same for Bill and Ben as well, and Emily. But, yeah, Donald and Douglas will be up next, so... Be back in a flash. Bye.